Hi everyone, Teresa with Hickabilly LLC. Um, I put out a video on repairing my antique spinning wheel that I know nothing about. Um, I bought that machine back in uh, 2015 and um, I actually have wanted to learn how to spin um, prior to that before even buying my machine and I did have goats but they were Nigerians and those those are not known for um, having cashmere or any kind of fiber um, and actually when I got into goats I originally was looking for baby doll sheep but where I was located um, the hottest item that was selling there were no baby doll sheep there were these uh, Nigerian goats and that's kinda how I got into goats I didn't realize um, how much I was going to fall in love with them and how cool they are uh, and how um, actually productive they are versus a lot of other um, livestock I think but anyway um, so I finally decided that I was going to make some time this year and uh, start picking up this this uh, new skill and um, have some fun with it I've seen videos where people are spinning and it looks looks like fun it looks actually like really relaxing and I need those moments I think where I can just kind of relax and just make something um, with my hands and and really enjoy what's going to come out of that um, so I, I uh, got in contact with the Great Falls uh, Spinners and Weavers Guild and asked them if they would be willing to help me uh, figure out what kind of uh, spinning wheel I have, how to use it, and so forth, and they were um, extremely helpful. So I recorded my experience meeting up with them and them showing me how to work, run that machine. So um, here it is, and um, I hope you enjoy. And See, I'm so glad I came because I get to As in berry. Oil are we putting on? One and one. Is that what it is? Bricks. Just a nice oil. I'll figure it's still on that shit. Maybe it might shoot right in the mm. machine. Okay. My yeah, crumpsy is a little there. bit is goofy, so I actually use more oil. Yeah, oh, okay. I usually use 90 weight. Oh, okay. I mean, not that, 30 weight. I usually use 30 weight. Yeah, I okay. Very good choice. Oh, okay, thank you. Whoops. Okay, and so in a place that it's going to spin. Okay. Because this has... This little piggy must come out of here. Because we have to be able. Now, do you have more than one bobbin or just one? That's all I got. Am I, can I get other bobbins for this or do they have to be made? They're specific to this wheel, but there are people who make bobbins. Oh. And there's online, there's a company called Bobbin Brothers. Brothers do a very, very nice. So I just have to figure out, now normally this comes out by, and I got a piece of leather there, and I don't want to ruin that. Do we need like some pliers? Uh, this is, nope, that's the leather right there. Yeah, yeah. and then I don't, can I make that? There. there. Oh, you made the leather. So this is a little on the, probably on the brittle side, but it's nothing more than a retainer. Okay, and then it's got somebody built it a bushing. Okay. And how do you come up? Can I hold something for you, Kathy? I'm going to hold that little bit. Yes. So somehow this whirl should come off of there. And I don't. Most of the time, they screw on. So this one's been on there a while. So would your would would your wadman is that how you say that stuff? If you soaked it, 
if you had um, time to soak it. I, so I think I would use um, the oil. like an oil or something okay. to get that to come. So what you probably have going on here, and I... Okay. So this pulley right here mm -hmm. normally comes off, and I can see down in there mm -hmm. that there's probably a um, like a threaded bushing. Okay. So you'd want to use some sort of a penetrating oil to oh, get uh -huh. that to come oh. off of there. Okay. Okay. And then just kind of gently work it. I don't want to break your flyer, so I don't want to try it too hard okay so what I'm really trying to do right now is I need this bobbin to move freely on here. Oh, okay okay and the reason we need that is because oh yeah it's getting better every second here did you want me to bring your other one over so you can explain what's moving or no, no. okay no I'm gonna She has those shims yep. in there. Yep, yep, just looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to do your tensioning on your band. And I'm going to move it down a little bit just simply because when we put a fresh band on mm -hmm. and um, so that's your assignment for this week is to go home and use some penetrating oil and loosen that up. Okay, yeah. Ben has some of that. <laughs> you know, like nothing more than a retainer. Okay. And that's just going to keep that from bucking up out of there on you. I mean, you may even. I know where we can get some more of that lace. Oh, yeah. I mean, I probably have a hunk of it or two at home, even. Mm -hmm. I have those scraps you gave me. That's what I made that yeah. band with. Right. Yeah. That would work, and that would even work. You're just trying to keep this from fucking up on you. Yeah, it looks like the end of that one needs to be longer so it comes clear through. You know, and if it was longer, then you'd be able to just pull it. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. I don't want to lose your little pull. I'm gonna give you your little okay. Egg. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Who knows who carved that out? somebody important enough to yeah. yeah and so this is um this is some high twist cotton okay okay it's called um this one and so this is your pulley the whirl mm -hmm. that is your pulley that's going to cause this whole thing to go around this on the end of this bobbin is a friction break oh Um, do you want me to put underneath? And it's a good idea if you scrub this up real good. Mm hmm. Dusted it. Yeah, and then, uh, then the other thing that's, you know, pretty cool is like I like to use, um, I use a lot of Watco Danish oil. And oh, yeah. Okay. No color. Okay. okay. That's what I use oh, in my rooms and my Oh, you have to have two. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have. Oh, we lost it. Um, the Waco says to have good ventilation. I mean, it it really has a. It really, yeah, it is. It's it's a. I had know. to wait until summertime. Oh, and do you want it crossed? Like it's this. It's going to cross. Okay. Because it's one. So how did you guys hear about us?
Yeah, how about, how about a finger? Yeah, I put it in my pocket and I jumped over there. Not, and then I glued it. <coughs> yep. Okay. You can do. I just tie knots. Okay. Oh, you had scissors. I didn't. Look at that. I just stole your scissors. Yeah, I did, and I handed them to her. I was her. like, how handy. Where would those come from? Don't you love it? It's like the name of that. Well, like the day I see this is something where with I bread, so I just the head off your this is where I didn't too. know it this could cross. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that that could yep. cross. Okay. Okay. So now what I don't we know have. Anything. So now what we have is we have an um there we go and we're even gonna stay on there. <laughs> hey. Not jump off yet. Look at that. You're sitting low enough, I can look over okay. you. I can get behind. Okay. So, I am now my next, uh, for my next magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rabbit? <laughs> Where's the rabbit? <laughs> Holy Red Lord. heart. Stuff into the couch oh, in our in apartment. That. That, oh, yeah, she ran out. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, we put that together. But, um. Which time? She thought she had 17 spinning wheels at one point. Oh, she wow. She spinning, so. Oh. oh my. Absolutely. Mine yeah. Mine seat belt. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mike be taking it has that a three-legged stool thing, and, and when I set it a certain way right. in the back seat, then it stays. It doesn't roll around. Well, I would take any chances. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but now um, this is just your lead-on, something to start your spinning with, and you'll need an orifice okay. hook. Um, or you can do just exactly what I did. Okay. Now crochet we're going to see. And crochet hooks. Yeah, yeah. yeah crochet, crochet hooks hook. work. Um, you can mutilate a. Um, Bobby Bobby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and a uh, paper clip. That's yeah, that's what I was going to do. Paper clips work really good. I wonder how many times paper clips get used. Oh, hey, you know the guy that invented paper clips was a genius. There's no doubt in my mind. Now. When, when, when Peggy had a um, hole in the in the, the base there under uh -huh. the wheel where the the my threading hook sits, yes. it has a wooden end on it, so yeah. it just sits right in there. Right, mine does too. Oh, both of mine. Okay, so now and the magic is going to be sure whether or not we there. have any uh -huh. up. <laughs> So yeah. the take up. Now you see one. This pull. Uh huh. Than this pull, yeah. and it must be, or you will never have take up. So now to get take up, I have to put more tension on those. And I don't know if so we're take up free means enough. That, uh, it'll pull this through here, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Put the twist on the yarn, on the yeah. and it'll pull through the The key here is to let the machine do its job. Yep. We so as we, as pressure. you go, as well, you, yeah. you know, so it doesn't really want to. But I think that what we need to, you know, so when you get that off the back. Mm -hmm. And you can, I would take some emery cloth because there's going to be a steel rod inside of there that oh. probably is a little crusty. Oh, okay. And I would then, you know, just put some oil on it. It doesn't have to be grease. So you want this to be able to, like, literally, if you don't have anything on there, just move very freely. Okay. okay. I'm not used to it being so far away from this. This is cool. Yeah. I like oh, this. I, I like it. Look at that. She got my wheel working again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 